hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so reports are coming out that's the moan and if y'all don't know who simone is she is the one that keep winning them the gold olympic medals and won't let nobody else win to save their life okay y'all um this is simone and bios i believe her last name is and um she was you know um giving up as a baby to her grandparents her mother was you know smoking her kneecaps off okay y'all to the 25th power and she gave her babies away to you know her parents and now that you know years have gone past and this and that and that and this um the mother she claims she don't smoke her kneecaps off no more Okay, in the interview. Um, and she claims she don't do it no more. She wants to have a relationship with Simone now. And Simone is not paying her no attention whatsoever. She is happy with the parents that she has. And she is all a gravy. Okay, y'all. Now, a lot of people have a lot of opinions on this whole situation. Okay. And people, a lot of people are saying, I'm, I'm going to talk about both sides. Some people are saying that Simone um she's 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 good she's right this is what some people are saying they're saying that you know a lot of parents do this when their their, their child uh, grow up and become rich or whatever 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 then the, the parent that wasn't in that child's life want to all of a sudden be back in their life again because of the money and a lot of people is feeling like she just want to come around because she got that money if she didn't have that money she wouldn't probably still she wouldn't want to come around this is what some people are saying, okay, y'all? And I feel them on that because a lot of parents do do that, okay, y'all? I'm going to be completely honest. I've seen it over and over again with celebrities and stuff like that. The parents ain't studying them, but, but them older than a man in the moon. But they found out they got some money, they're chasing them, okay, y'all? They all after of them. Want to get a piece of the pie, okay? So that is true. I do agree with that. Now, on the other hand, some people is feeling that Simone is being a little... Uh, uh, you know she's wrong this is what some people are saying that she's wrong this is her mother and she should you know at least talk with her they this woman she won't even see her let's not talk with her she don't want to see her coming word on the street okay y'all um a lot of people say she should give her a chance and they're saying that you know you only have one mother she's the reason that she's here and a lot of people is feeling like she should give her a chance at least to talk to her. If she don't want to give her any money, take care of her, this, this and that and this, but still open up that, um, at least have that last, that conversation with her. A lot of people is feeling like that. Now, I wanted to put this video up because I wanted to see what people in my comment section would say about this whole situation. How do you all feel about the mama wanting to come back after all of these years, y'all? Um... And I'm going to be completely honest. I saw her. I didn't look at the whole interview, but I did see her face and this and that and this. I'm not 100% convinced that she has stopped smoking her kneecaps off. I'm just going to say that. But some people that have smoked their kneecaps off to the 25th power, they'll have that look for the rest of their life, some of them. Some people can smoke their kneecaps off and you don't even know it because they like to eat and still hold up their weight. But she still look like she's doing it to me. I don't know. I don't be around her, but I'm just saying. Okay, she still look like she's smoking a bandit. Okay, y'all? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this. I feel like she should talk to her. I do feel like she should have that talk to her. At least. Just, you know, break the ice. Go and, you know, talk to her mother sit down and talk with her if she don't want if she feel like she full of crap afterwards then you know go on about your business but still talk with her i think that she's gonna feel bad i don't know simone but she do seem like she's you know 
I'm just put it out there. She's right, right with everybody else that's out here in this elite veal. Okay, I'm gonna just put that out there. So she could just the company that she keep kind of like makes me think that she's in that in crowd of not really caring. Um, so I, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence of if she will feel bad about it if something happens to her mother and later on she didn't never get that chance to talk to her. So I just feel like she should get that chance. To go sit down, talk to her mother, and break the ice, and, you know, at least see what she has to say, okay? Now, as far as the mother, the mother did come, she, she kind of pushed a little button with me when she said that um, she don't know what people have been telling her, and this and that, and that, and this, but, you know, uh, it's not true. So, she's already calling the people that took care of her and raised her liars, and these people could not have even said anything to Simone. They, Simone just probably could not want to be bothered with her on her own. So for her to already come out, you want to talk to her, but at the same time, the people that raised her and love her, you are disrespecting them. So I see kind of where Simone is coming from. If this woman want to be, if she's really sincere about coming out, talking to her about whatever, 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 then talk, you know, don't come back bashing somebody that took care of her and raised her. And show her love when you didn't or couldn't. Okay, y'all? Um, I do feel that I see a lot of people, um, I, you know, we used to do foster care and stuff like that. And it, you know, we took care of a lot of kids. Okay? And I'm going to say this. We seen a lot when it came down to adoptions and all of this stuff and this and that and that and this and foster care and this and that and that and this and people you know, in the system, some, you know, messed up off of smoking their kneecaps off, some just put in a bad situation and stuff like that. We've seen this over and over again. And I'm going to say this, for her mother to um, place her with her mother, she wanted what was best for her, even though, to me, I don't know if this is how she they got her, did, did, what she put in a home, and then the mother, the mother then went and fought for her, or did she give her to them? I think they said she gave them to the mother and the father. I think she wanted what was best for them at the time, to be honest with you. This is my personal opinion, because I know a lot of people that didn't smoke their kneecaps off, and they didn't care. A lot of people that was smoking their kneecaps off that, you know, back in the days, way, 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 way back in the days, y'all. When, a, you know, did a little swerving, okay, y'all? Um, I saw people that was smoking their kneecaps off take, you know, the government assistance and stuff like that. And it, they, it wouldn't be no food in the house. Not nothing in the house. And they would take all of that money and the stamps or whatever, whatever, whatever. And they would go back street pharmacy with it. And the kids would be, it'd be four, five kids in the house. And they didn't care what age, whatever, whatever, whatever. They didn't care about those kids. For the mother to make sure that her kids were straight, even though she was smoking her kneecaps off, I think she cared about her kids enough to put them in a good place so they could be taken care of. And, you know, um, not be abused and stuff like that. Because I've seen so much stuff, y'all, when it comes down to that. I've seen people smoking their kneecaps off. You know, they didn't care about the kids. They didn't care if they ate. They didn't care if the people they was buying their street pharmacy stuff, you know, took advantage of their children. They didn't care about that stuff. And for them to make sure that she was in a good spot, I think she cared about her kids enough for to do that and i'm gonna say this i still feel that she should at least talk to her now if she go and reach out to her and the first thing come out of her mouth is can she get some money then i'll question that i would question that i would think that only thing you want is some money you're not really trying to you know talk to me or have any kind of relationship with me you are worried about what you can get from me okay because the, the bottom of you know the if a child or grows up and come into some money and this and that and that and this, um, if they have that type of heart, that they even if the parent didn't do anything for them and this and that and that and this, and they have that type of heart that they not gonna even though they their parents didn't take care of them or whatever, whatever, they still gonna take care of them no matter what, they don't have to ask them for anything. Cause they're gonna see 
what bad shape they in and they're going to offer it anyway or give them a few dollars or whatever so they can go about their business if that's how they feel that that's all they want from her in the first place they're going to make sure they straight even though they still don't have no relationship with them you know what i'm saying especially if you got money like that now i don't know what simone is worth let me check it out real quick because i never looked it up y'all let's see what simone bows is worth out here in these streets y'all because she is collecting them awards left and right so let's see what her net worth is I, I, i'm gonna check it out y'all it might be true it might not be y'all know how it go um net worth okay they got her in forbes oh lord lord have mercy wait a minute y'all okay no this is it Okay, because I, I, I thought I saw $100 million. I feel like, oh, Lord, she could take care of that woman and go about her business. Um, it's different amounts on here, y'all. Some is saying $20 million, 16, 16, 16. Some is saying 7. I think it's more of the $20 million mark. Some is saying $25 million. And it is as of August the 5th, 2024. So this is one that's saying $25 million. Okay. Um, if she showed up and went to see her mama and then her mother um, didn't have and she cared, she would give it to her. She don't got to ask her for it. You know, it would make sense for the mama to just hug her baby and tell her how proud she is and tell her how much she miss her, this and that and that and this, and open those doors and not beg her for some money. Because if she, she going to know if she's still smoking her kneecaps. Off. And this is a possibility, too. She could already know that her mama is still smoking her kneecaps off. Okay, look what, um, what's her name? I forgot her name. They had that show. Oh, I always forget names, y'all. Um, Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, mama, look what happened with her. She was smoking her kneecaps off the hinge, okay? May she rest in peace, okay? Because I, I liked the show and everything with her on it. I, I, I liked her. Her whole character about her was, I liked her. But, I'm going to just say this. Um, she was smoking her kneecaps off the hinge. And... Her being brought back into her daughter's life and being on the show and being given money and stuff like that, I think that played a part in what happened to her, too, when she passed away. I think it played a part because some people, you know, they'll probably try to kick it and then they go back around and they're, they're rich family member and then a rich family member start giving them money, just lavishing, you know, giving them whatever money whatever they want and stuff and then they'll they don't know what to do with that money all their life they know is smoking their kneecaps off they'll go back and start getting wasted again so that's another thing that she has to think about too if she just put some money in her hand she might go and just have a smuggish board of you know stuff to just smoke her kneecaps off with and just do her own stuff in so it's just so many things you got to think about when it comes to stuff like that um some people you have to you know love them in a different way if you want to look out for your mother and they've been doing stuff like that <laughs> bam house don't put it in their name though okay so they won't try to sell it <laughs> you know what i'm saying when you walk away from it though because i'm telling you this is how some people be out when they messed up not laughing at them but i'm just saying you have to be careful on how you do things if she needs some clothes go buy some clothes if she needs some groceries make sure she got some groceries you know what i'm saying but don't put money in her hand pay her bills but don't pay her you know what i'm saying don't put it in her hand because she don't know what to do with it you know what I'm saying, y'all? It's different ways to look out for somebody like that if she really care about her. But at the same time, like I told y'all, we don't know her situation. So I can't really speak speak on it. But I can just speak from experience and saying that some parents just don't care. But I think she did care enough to put them in a, in a place where they would be taken care of. So I'm going to just say it like that and leave it at that, y'all. But I wanted to see what you all would say in the comment section about the whole situation. Okay, y'all? So anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.